It's coming from the Creeper Simpsons cave this morning. How the heck are you crazy creeps? Whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, I do appreciate you guys tuning in and creeping with. And I am really excited for today's vlog. We've covered a ton of real life Simpsons, Simpsons connections to Portland, Oregon, street names, so on and so forth. Make sure you guys check out the playlist. But today, I'm pretty darn excited. Well, I'm, I'm really excited, <laughs> to be quite honest. We're gonna deep, do a deep dive into Portland, Oregon, slash my hometown. Well, born and raised in Portland, Oregon, but Gresham, Oregon's, that's right, Gresham, Oregon's connection to the Simpsons. It's fun, you're not feeling, you're definitely gonna wanna see this one if you're a fan of the Simpsons. And like I said, check out the playlist above, a ton of real life Simpsons and other Simpsons things that we've covered all through Portland. But today, I'm pretty stoked to cover the connection between my favorite cartoon of all time, The Simpsons, and my hometown of Gresham, Oregon. So stay tuned. We're doing a little Simpsons creeping. Oh yeah. Yep, Matt Groening's Portland, as stated here in this Oregonian article that I cut out. That's Matt's mom right here at the house their Portland house, Matt's mom Marge, and with a bunch of other real life Simpsons characters, including his mom and dad being named Homer and Marge, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the playlist after today's video, cause we've got a lot more Simpsons vlogs, including some real life people, and these articles from the 80s and 90s are so cool, touching on, you know, the real life Krusty the Clown, which was Rusty Nails, and a few others. But the Simpsons also have a really cool tie to my hometown of Gresham, Oregon. All right, just taking a quick little rest stop here. In fact, I'm gonna stop again and get a bottle of water before we totally head out for our first stop of the day. But check out these clouds are totally the Simpsons. Good tie-in for today. And we are headed up to Willamette National Cemetery next. It all makes sense. Here soon. But yeah, these clouds definitely always remind me of the Simpsons. I even have my Simpson shorts on today. All right, we have arrived. Right behind us sits the absolutely beautiful Willamette National Cemetery right here on Mount Scott Boulevard. And right behind these gates, well, you'll see in a minute. And like I said, this will all tie in at the very end. It'll kind of make sense as we're telling you guys this about how Matt Groening's connection, not only to, you know, Oregon and Portland, but also Gresham, Oregon, right here at Willamette National. You guys will see what I mean in a moment. All right, so they do have these maps here. And we are here, right by the office. You are here. And we have to make our way through Memorial Drive to CC. And if you guys need more assistance, they actually have this really awesome tool here, this gravesite locator. And you basically touch the screen to start and it will take you to the prompt showing, you know, the last name and it actually will print out a physical copy for you. So pretty darn cool. But yeah, we got this map here, so I don't really need this one today. But if you do come up here, and need more of a better way of, you know, finding the loved one that you're looking for, or just the gravesite and burial, you can come right here. It is so absolutely beautiful up here this morning. And it took me a while, I was able to kind of narrow it down with the map. And luckily we got the beautiful blue skies there with the Simpson style clouds, but right here buried 
at the beautiful Willamette National Cemetery sits the headstone to Bernard J. Monez and Ellen Monez. And the reason why we're here today, as you can see on the headstone as well, mother, father, teachers. You guys might say, what in the heck does this have to do with Matt Groening and the Simpsons? Well, born June 1st, 1922, passed away November 13th of 2004. Ellen Groney Moniz was born in Hillsboro, Kansas, and she was also a math teacher for East Gresham Elementary School and my school, middle school, Dexter McCarty. She was the found, like one of the main founders of the Tucker Maxson Oral School for the Deaf, and her late father, Abe Graining, was a professor at Lewis and Clark. Her niece is Elizabeth Graining as well. And Matt's first cousin is Lori Anders. So the tie-in between the whole family is amazing. And it's just incredible how many connections and really what a small world it is. No, you know, no pun intended now that the Disney Corporation owns the Simpsons. But if you guys recognize the last name Graining, like I said, her, you know, late father being Abe. And if you recognize the name Abe, probably from the show as well, what grandpa was named after. But they are laid to rest right here. And next stop will be in my stomping grounds of Gresham, Oregon. This is all going to tie in. And this is incredible. I never thought that my, I mean, I knew Portland, Oregon had to tie but I never thought that my stomping grounds, Gresham, Oregon, would be that tied in with the Simpsons. Pretty darn cool. Pertaining to Bernard Bud, her father, and he actually coached at Gresham High School as well, which is another tie-in to today's vlog. It's actually my high school, and he attended all the games, and he never missed a game other than when he had to go to his father's grave and also the Rockwood um, Youth Center in Rockwood, uh, Portland, kind of Gresham area, right on the cusp of Gresham and, and Portland. They named it after him, the Bud Monet's Powell Center, dedicating to helping kids. And he got a real good kick out of that. So here are her folks. And next we're going to go to Matt Groening's cousin's house, located right in Gresham, Oregon. Since Lori's dad's named Bud, I also brought this flower, this rose bud up here for them to just kind of pay my respects and thank them, you know, just for good measure. And I just love the fact that, you know, it's really a small world and we don't realize how small it is and the connections that we have to each other until we start kind of going down the rabbit hole and stuff and seeing that. But pretty darn cool to think that. Not only the ties to Portland, but the ties to Gresham and everything in my childhood. Pretty awesome. Rest in peace. And when we get back into Gresham, I'll tell you guys something that I thought was incredibly awesome. And in hindsight, I'm kind of wishing that I would have paid more attention. Beautiful views of downtown. And I also noticed these aren't in bloom yet. But this will be very soon a rose garden, the Memorial Rose Garden dedicated to employees of the Department of Veterans Affairs and Veterans Health Administration by their outstanding service. And it's inspired by the memory of Homer Martin Kaiser. I thought that was kind of funny too that his name is Homer. Coin Tower. back in Gresham and we are here oh there it is so right here 
and I want to be respectful too. Obviously, I don't want to go on the property, but right here is the house too. And what's cool about this is not only being the first cousin to Matt Graining and her folks having the connections to the Grainings as well, but this is her Gresham, Oregon residence, and I believe, I believe she still is in office. I'm not quite sure what she does still. And so not only, you know, the ties to the Grainings family and the Simpsons, but a lot of connections to Gresham, including former Gresham High School graduate who lives here now. So pretty darn cool. And not to mention, I went to school with her daughter, who's actually named Lori as well. And when we were in art class, I would sit and doodle, constantly drawing Simpsons. And I remember her specifically coming to me and saying, hey, you know, I noticed that you draw Bart all the time. Did you know that my mother's related to him? I said, oh my gosh, no way. I thought she was kind of fibbing me. And then years later, realizing all the connections and the tie-ins, and we actually went to school together at Dexter McCarty, which if you guys heard me up at the at Willamette National, Bud, her great, you know, her grandfather went to Gresham High School as well. He coached basketball. And so yeah, just a ton of connections to the Gresham Portland area. First cousin of Matt Graining. I absolutely love that tie-in. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys that has all this kind of connection, which actually was one of the main reasonings for me to kind of go down the rabbit hole of all the information and figure out the ties between the families, the connections to Portland and Gresham. I actually found an old Simpsons toy, one of the very first toys. I believe it's marked 88 or 89, maybe 90. It's when Hot Wheels did the very first collaboration with the Simpsons. They actually made a camper van kind of paying homage to one of the very, you know, one of the greatest Simpsons episodes is where they Homer buys the RV and they go camping. But if you look, and I'll insert pictures, if you look really careful, it's got Bart on the camper. And if you pan down just a few, you know, just a little bit below where Bart's head is sticking out of the window of the car or the truck or the camper, it actually says, check this out. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll ring you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.